Hello, this is Nurse Dilson here. In this video, I'd like to show you how to set up a bit of furniture that follows an irregular wall. In this AutoCAD drawing here, I have a wall which has a bend in it, so it's irregular. It's got a, it bends at 45 degrees and then goes straight again. The angle is not very important, but what I would like to do here is set up a project in Polyboard that follows the wall. I'm going to draw the project now and I'm going to just draw the project by actually creating an offset and I'm going to say let's offset um, by I don't know how much let's say whatever amount it is and I'm just going to take that line and offset it here say that this particular line is um, at let's put it in let's put it in green like this so now I'd like a bit of furniture that just follows this wall like this. The wall can be any shape as long as it's made up of straight lines. I'm going to say that the bit of furniture I would like it to come something like this. Just go up here. And the bit of furniture is just following the wall here. So how would I set that up into polyboard? It's not at first glance evident. Well, the way I would set it up, I would use a freeform cabinet, but to build a freeform cabinet in polyboard, the best thing is to take off the AutoCAD drawing the coordinates of all the different points that make up my cabinet. So to do that, I'm going to use an ordinate dimensioning. Ordinate dimensioning. So if you know what ordinate dimensioning is in um, AutoCAD, what you do is you place the user's coordinate system at a particular point so I'm going to place my user user coordinate system at this point here my zero point is going to be here and I'm going to start using my ordinate here my ordinate dimensioning tool which is going to give me the the position of all the different points of my cabinet and now my cabinet is going to follow these green lines here so I'm going to take uh, the ordinates XY ordinates of these points here. Let's go take this one here. So we can see the cabinet wanted to go up here and I want it to go up here. I want the XY coordinates of this point here. And we also need the XY coordinates of this point here. I don't list that wall, it's not exactly what I wanted here. Take the XY coordinates of this point here. So now I have the XY coordinates of all the points that are going around this particular cabinet that will stop here. So let's um, let's just set up. Let's um, let's also take the um, let's build the wall into polyboard as well. It's polyboard as well. So let's uh, let's. Give the di let's take the dimensioning, the angle dimension here, which I'm pretty sure is just 135, it's 135 degrees, and so it's a 45 degree angle, shall we say? That is a 45 degree, well, 90 plus 45 would be 135. So let's try and build this into polyboard. So let's go into polyboard. Um, let's just take this particular window and make it smaller so that I can use I can show you what I'm actually doing using the AutoCAD drawing and the polyboard to build this project let's put polyboard beside it so you can see what I'm actually doing and where I'm taking the sizes that I'm going to use to build the project so let's start a new project in polyboard so I'm going to just take here new project let's first put the walls in. So how are we going to put the walls in? Well the first thing to pull the walls in is we're going to just set up a um, dummy model. So we're going to have place a model in here, any size model. This model I'm going to drag it onto this working surface and I'm going to give it my first dimension here which is 2069. So it's going to give it 2069 here. I've already got it here, 2069. I'm going to take another model onto it here and this model I'm going to give it the second dimension of my wall here which is 1005 so 
I'm going to give it its width 1005 create a new model and I'm going to call this 1005 model let's put the language into English so we can get something coherent here this model I'm going to give it a rotation of um, 45 degrees I'm going to give it in fact minus 45 degrees I'm going to clip it onto my other model here I'm going to take my original model again and I'm going to clip it onto this side here so if we let's zoom back a bit so we can see what we're doing and this model I'm going to give it 2045 as a size 2045 that's this length of this wall here 2045 and I'm going to create a model called 2045 and now let's just draw in our walls I'm going to click right and click new wall and the wall I'm going to clip it onto my cabinets here and there we have our wall let's give the height 250 that's okay and let's just get rid of our models now so let's just get rid of our move this window across a bit let's get rid of our models list let's get rid of model this one this one and this one and now if I look in 3D we should have a wall that follows exactly what we had in our AutoCAD drawing a wall which has got a kink in it now our job is to build the cabinet, the freeform cabinet that's going to fit along that wall go back to our project and now let's start a new model again and this time take free shape and let's take edit now if we take a free shape and we I've already set up a model here which is um, been my I've tested it so I've just set up a model which is tested but I'm going to get rid of I'm going to get rid of all the different points that I don't need on this model here and we will start it completely afresh as if we were just starting with a sort of a rectangle First thing I'm going to take a point, any point, and let's going to put this point, let's put this point at, let's um, try and get this on the screen. So I'm just resize my screens a bit so we can get this nice and clean. We can see it well side one another. This point, oh, we want to put this point at my zero, zero. So I click, I select this point here, and I'm going to click here. 0, 0 and tick. Now we know that this point is at our 0, 0 point. I will now want to point, I want to point a secondary point below it here at 4, 7, 9. So that's minus 4, 7, 9 relative to our 0, 0 point. I click twice on my line and I'm going to click here 0 and minus 4, 7, 9 like that polyboard is taken in let's put that particular point at 479 I want another point here that is at 1699 on the right hand side of my zero which is here so I'm going to click twice to create a point and that I'm going to put it at 1699 and Y at zero and click type the um, click on the tick the next point I'm going to have along here it's going to click create a point by clicking twice on this line here and this point is selected now and I'm going to put it at on my exit 2410 2410 and my Y is going to be minus 711 here so I'm going to put minus 711 here and I'm going to click on my tick so here we have the back of our furniture which should fit along the wall. We still need some points for the front point here. So let's put this point here. Let's put a point here as well. And this point here is going to be this point here which is um, going to be X2212. 2212. And Y minus 1190. Minus 1190 click on my tick point here again this one here we're going to put that right now this one here is at 4058 4058 
and we're at minus minus one one nine oh <coughs> and this one here is going to be four oh five eight and minus one one seven that is right so I'm gonna just click that okay four oh five eight and then we just have to put position this point select this point and we're going to give it a, a one five oh one and it's going to be minus four seven nine tick and now we have the free form of our cabinet I click now before I click OK make sure that all the sides and all the lines are defined here we have a back we can see here in, in our type is a back here is a back too, a back, this should be a side, it is a side this one here is a front, a front, a front and this should be a side it's not a side here, we've got a front here, so let's make it a side so it, w it will react properly, shall we say and I'm going to click OK and we have our cabinet with, it, with its free shape and let's click OK again and now let's take in our model and let's clip it onto our wall, you can see it fits perfectly onto our wall if we look in 3D and our cabinet fits perfectly along our wall which is quite neat uh, let's give it a size, let's give it a height, let's say the cabinet is 2 meters, two meters 10 high let's give it, um, let's click twice into it and modify it we've got, given it its height, let's give it an elevation with a plinth, let's give it 100 meter elevation let's put on the back here a plinth, so we're going to put a plinth on the different fronts set the plinth back 50 mil on each front and if I click OK we've got a plinth on it let's put in here a shelf and let's put one shelf for instance from the bottom let's put it at 800 we see we're just, we're now using this cabinet which is a freeform cabinet and we're setting it up just like any other cabinet but it actually follows the shape of the walls so let's just keep let's just add a few things to it let's print instance here an upright and let's click an upright from the left hand side and let's put it at we have here 1 meter 48 so let's put it at um, 800 and here let's put one upright and let's put it in the middle let's put it here and then let's put in one upright one upright here upright and we know that we got we don't want it at 663 here let's put it around about uh, from the left hand side let's put it about that distance here so let's divide this up into different volumes where we can now add different things let's put in some drawers here four drawers and let's put on different assembly details in the drawers and here we can put in a shelf, let's put two shelves and here we can put in some doors let's put a door and let's click it onto the uh, vertical division 3 the door here and let's put a door here as well, add a door and click it onto the virtual division 2 and here let's put in a couple of shelves and let's just put in some shelves here, let's put some shelves that follow the whole the whole bit of furniture let's put three shelves like this and let's save our cabinet and let's have a look what our project looks like in 3D So here we have our, our our actual cabinet in 3D. And that's how you set up very quickly a cabinet that follows an irregular wall. These walls were at, at um, 45 degrees here, but the project can be set up um, with any angle as long as you've taken off the relative coordinate points from the AutoCAD drawing, you can make this bit of furniture fit any wall, any shape and it can be set up really quickly for very complex projects. Thank you very much for listening.
and i hope to see you soon in another video. goodbye.